Welcome to my part two for this fortnight's grocery haul. Um, if you haven't seen it, have a look at yesterday's video. I actually went to Costco and did the bulk of my shopping there. I had a main grocery shopping budget for this fortnight in the first week of $300. And then just a top-up shop for $50, which will come up in the next video. So you can have a look at that. So I went to Costco. I spent uh, $219 there, which means I had $81 left to shop. Um, I purely actually only went to Coles this time. One, I was running short on time. Two, I had a $30 um, flybys dollars in my account so I used that obviously so I had free money um, and I also needed to do a $50 spend at Coles so that I thought I might as well get the stuff there for a 10,000 point deal that I've got going for four weeks um, which will give me $50 back right now that $30 just so you guys know that $30 free money so the flybys dollars that I did have sitting there on my flybys account actually went towards the $50 spend which is amazing so you could really work the points to um, you know almost not spend anything on those you know, those weeks where you have those deals coming if you saved up your points. So just something to think about. Um, so I did go to Coles and you're about to see what I actually got. I had $81 left in my budget for this main shop for the fortnight. And I went to Coles and I spent, let me tell you, for $79.98. <laughs> That's what I spent. So I was actually under, which was great. Um, and yeah, pu purely just got um, coals, obviously, for this shop. So let me show you guys what I got. All right, I'm just going to pull things out as I unpack out of these bags because... I am just running late with things. I've got dinner to do. I've got to get the kids stuff ready for school. I've got homework to help Isabella, all that stuff. So where can we start? So Coles is where I went. Coles, purely only Coles, just simply because I had a $30 uh, flybys dollars, you know, on my card. Um, and then I also need to do a $50 spend at Coles to get a 50 get $50 worth of flyby points um, at the end of a four week spend. So, and that $30 did count towards, so that $30 free money did count towards the uh, $50 spend because it's on the receipt. So that was amazing. So there's a little trick I need to think about a bit more, I think. Um, but I'll get back to you on that idea. <laughs> anyway, I got these rolls. I think they call bar, is it bar mai? So we've got bakeries around here. They're usually the Asian bakeries. It's called, uh, they're called bar mai pork rolls. Usually a lot of people get that kind of thing. And I think maybe they got chicken, but I think they're mostly pork. The supermarkets here have started putting these rolls because this is the type of roll that they use. So I got these just for us to do a roast roll dinner. I'm very excited because they look so delicious. These were about $3.20, I think, or $3.50 for the six. They are a crunchy roll um, and they're not going to last long in our house, obviously. But yeah, I, sometimes crunchy rolls up here sort of, you know, cut the top of my mouth. But hoping these will be pretty fine. I did get some eggs. I actually haven't got eggs for a couple of weeks. I just kept forgetting and I was going to get them at Costco and then I just forgot. So um, I got the 18 pack. This was like $7 something. It's not that expensive for 18. It's a pretty good deal. They are just the large size, but they look good. Mostly for us, we just have them for breakfast now. So that works plenty for us in that size. I got some more paper bowls simply because... <laughs> we like to have these on hand so when it's just snacking stuff and that like through especially through the weekend the holidays that type of thing we're not washing bowl after bowl after bowl but what will happen especially if we have people over like other kids we can write their names on them really and put snacks in them the kids know to reuse them as long as there's no liquids in here obviously sometimes we'll even put like ice cream in them for the dessert and then we'll just throw them out less dishes for me um, or for all of us because Joseph does dishes now as well so honestly I just bought it to save time it's like three dollars for this it's, it's not very much you know what I mean for the 50 pack so it's worth it in my eyes to save time um, plus paper they can be recycled obviously we also have just some garbage bags just the 30 pack in the large uh, barbecue sauce this is around $1.52 
Uh, we don't go through a lot of this because it's really just Johnny that has it. Hardly any of us actually have it. We have tomato sauce. So this is mainly for Johnny. Um, I do have some sour cream, which is, oh yeah, the light one. And I got some salsa. So I got the sour cream and salsa um, and some salad stuff, which you'll see in a minute because we'll be doing tacos tomorrow night. So uh, we haven't had them for quite some time, so I'm excited. Also have some milk and some ham. Now, how much do they charge me? $5.25. That's not bad. $26 a kilo. It was just a generic honey ham so not bataki <laughs> like I like but I just said to them can you give me around five dollars so that was good it's really just for lunches also got this now slow cooked braised beef um in classic onion gravy now we've had this before Joseph's just not a fan of beef like roast beef and things and Isabella definitely not so it's mainly just Johnny and I that have this we have had this before it's around 13 to 14 dollars um, but it's good on a night where you're kind of running short on time and this is what I'm actually putting into these rolls for Johnny and I at least for dinner the kids are going to have other things in their rolls um, but it's a really good quick go-to now I did purchase this and think of this because I've got a point still on flybys for 850 points for this one box well for any of this made easy meals it was 850 points so and you can only use it once so I just got one thing but it's great and honestly you can put this stuff in the freezer as well and it's just a really quick go-to if you need to I did get some fruit and veg like I said just some salad stuff for um, the next few nights dinners so I got a Lebanese cucumber I have put them in plastic bags I don't have any little veggie bags and I don't want this stuff kind of sitting in the trolley just you know we've got a lot of sickness going around where I live it's probably because of the cold weather but I just didn't want to do that so capsicum um, iceberg lettuce now strawberries actually I've got two punnets of strawberries because these were these are down to three dollars ninety at the moment and my Coles has so many <laughs> like they've got three different sections full of them there would have been at least a hundred punnets there today um, but I think it must be strawberry season you know what I mean so they're just, yeah, trying to get rid of them, I think, now at this point. So I'm very happy because the kids and I, and Johnny as well, but the kids especially have been begging for strawberries again. So we did get, yeah, strawberries this week. Um, they probably won't last long, but <laughs> I'll maybe go back when it's my top-up shop time, of course, and get some more. Um, I did get, what else is this? Oh, an avocado because of taco night and I actually have it with eggs so no one else likes avocado but I do I never used to but ever since I was pregnant <laughs> I don't know I just kind of craved it so I like it with like toasted sandwich with toasted sandwiches with like chicken tomato and cheese I like this with it um, I like this to have it with breakfast like with eggs and bacon and things um, and also tacos enchiladas that type of thing so I just got one it's fairly it's not too firm, like it's pretty good. So I think this will last me a couple of days at least. Uh, carrots, oh the avocado by the way, they've actually gone up because that was $2.50. Um, carrots, I got, these were $1.50 at the moment, not too bad. Oh, and this, has this gone down? I swear to you that the Aldi one had gone down, I'm sure. But this one, I swear, has gone down as well because this was only $3 today and I'm pretty sure it was like $3.20 or $3.50 or something when I was doing um, that Simply Brand stuff, like those reviews when I was doing it on different stuff. This was one of the products that I did a review on and I'm pretty sure it was more than that. So what a bargain for one kilo and it's really nice. We got some ice cream. I love this one. I don't know what it is. I think it's just maybe because it's something a bit different, but all the flavors to me are really delicious. I just opened it so I could show you guys. So you've got like a choc chip, but it's white, um, banana, and then just a chocolate. And it's delicious, honestly. I love that Peter's, that there's something different and new, you know what I mean? I get a bit bored with the ice creams in the supermarket if um, you know, you have the same ones all the time, especially because of the price of them. So I tend to wait for things to go on special. But the Peters one is always around $5, $5.50 um, for the two liters. So you can get 
Neapolitan you can get this one and you can get that rainbow one which is pretty much just a vanilla flavor and it's very nice so if you want to try something different give this one a go it's really good it's not too overpowering with banana and then the last thing I got because I didn't go to Woolworths I just got some more bottles of water instead of our big carton so these are like 80 cents each I get 10 cents back on them so they're 70 cents and I got five too bad there I was under budget which I was very very happy with of course so that means for my total main shop I spent the $300 basically um, which was really good now I have said this in yesterday's video in the Costco video but I have a great um, two-week grocery challenge coming up which I'm going to be doing over the next 12 months where I'm reducing my budget right down for the fortnight so I'm going back to pre-COVID Christy times and I, my budget will actually be $200 for the main shop and only $30 for the top-up shop so that's a total of $230 uh, for my fortnightly grocery shop for the four of us I will talk about that more in the next um, videos coming up, so definitely keep an eye on the channel. Um, I am reducing it right down, just trying to save some money. Obviously, compared to this fortnight that you're seeing right now, the budget really for the fortnight was $350, including the top-up shop. So um, it's coming down by $120, and that's what I'm hoping to do, and that's what I'm hoping to save. So I can put that money elsewhere. There is ways I'm going to be doing that, so I'll talk about that here on the channel, bit of few tricks and stuff as far as points go and you know just discounts available and all of that I'll be talking about how I'm actually going to do it um, but also just sort of changing some habits like eating habits and stuff like that to try to do this as well so we will see how we go I'm looking forward to sharing that journey with you so definitely stick with me here on the channel if you want to see that but otherwise guys thanks so much for watching um, today's grocery haul the next video coming up will be the top up shop to finish off this fortnight's um, shopping that I've very behind in so definitely keep an eye on the channel and then we will jump back into normal um, scheduling and obviously the two-week grocery challenge that's coming up all right guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you probably tomorrow Bye.